Hello everyone this is Spacelust and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to be telling you about the first Indian rocket launch. It was 55 years ago on November 21st of 1963 that a small rocket took off from Thumba on the outskirts of Thiruvananthapuram announcing the birth of modern space age in India. The village soon came to be known as the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station TERS. and later became Vikram Sarabhai Space Center or the VSSC up till 1963 the village of Thumba would not have merited a second look however it did have something that caught the interest of Dr Vikram Sarabhai the founding father of Indian space program a small church dedicated to St Mary Magdalene that was located on the earth's magnetic equator the magnetic equator is an imaginary line around the planet that connects all the points where a magnetic needle when freely suspended is horizontal it is scientifically important because the magnetic equator is where all the equatorial electrojets exist a stream of electrons whizzing across the sky about 110 to 120 kilometers above the earth's surface Sounding rockets are the first rockets sent out by any space program. These rockets test and study these electrons for research in the fields of physics, astronomy and meteorology. These rockets are the baby steps taken before the establishment of a full-fledged space program, and Dr. Sarabhai felt that Thumba was the best place to launch them. In fact, Thumba's location is ideal for a low-altitude upper atmospheric and ionospheric studies. Dr Sarabhai and his fellow scientists including Dr APJ Abdul Kalam went to Thumba to talk to the then bishop of Thiruvananthapuram who lived in the house adjacent to the church they were interested in acquiring the church and nearby land for their first rocket launch Reverend Peter Bernard Pereira asked them to attend the Sunday mass that week where he would put the question to the patroners At the mass the bishop explained the scientific mission and asked the permission of his congregation to hand over the church to the scientists. The permission was granted. The paperwork was done and the villagers were relocated to a new village. The bishop's home was quickly converted into an office. The church became the workshop and the cattle shed served as storage houses and laboratories. Undeterred by little funding and new facilities, a handful of enthusiastic young Indian scientists began assembling their first rocket carefully selected by Dr Sarabhai the then chairman of the National Committee on Space Research these young scientists and engineers had been trained in sounding rockets assembly and launching at NASA's Wallops R and Launch Facility in Virginia US these early recruits included former president Dr APJ Abdul Kalam and veteran scientist R Aravamudan In the initial stages Thumba had no canteen of facilities of any sort so the scientists would cycle every day to the railway station at Thiruvananthapuram for their breakfast and dinner in those days the only jeep was always busy so the scientists had to walk or either cycle to move within the range back then even rocket parts and payloads were transported by bullock carts and bicycles to the launch pad it was in these unassuming settings that india staged its first launch that of a Nike Apache rocket supplied by NASA after 6 months of labor on November 21st 1963 India was ready for its very first rocket launch many eminent names in science and technology had gathered for the occasion including Dr Homi Bhabha the founding father of the Indian nuclear program and Dr P R Pirashotty the founding director of the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology The governor of Kerala was also there along with the district collector and the bishop. The rocket was rolled out onto the launch pad. As the rocket was being hoisted on the launcher, the hydraulic crane developed a leak. However, it was manually shifted into position. Next, the remote system of the launcher malfunctioned. Once this was fixed, the things finally seemed to be in order. The alarm sounded to clear the area around the launch pad. The team of scientists held their breath. At 6:25 p.m., the world watched as the rocket streaked away into the gathering dusk. Minutes later, a sodium vapor cloud had emerged in the sky high above tinted orange by the setting sun. India had successfully put its first signature on space. The small sounding rocket had successfully delivered the 20 kg payload to the 200 km altitude. The very next day Dr Sarabhai congratulated the happy team and spoke to them about his dream of an Indian satellite launch vehicle 
and over the years the indian space research organization has not only fulfilled the visionary leader's dream but also made india space program the envy of the world with its success on a shoestring and 55 years later thumba is the hub of all space programs helmed by the indian space research organization the vikram sarabhai space center at thumba has given india launch vehicles geostationary satellites and some of the finest remote sensing satellites as for the little church that helped india reach the stars it now houses a space museum replete with a fascinating array of rockets satellites and other astronomical equipment